well greetings everybody welcome this is james and in today's video we are going to be driving around the university of zimbabwe so as you can see we have our camera mounted on the car and now we just passed the security checkpoint we're going to first drive around the uh, educational facilities then we're going to move to the um, sports facilities and then after that the residential facilities well if you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider doing so uh, I make videos when I'm driving, when I'm walking, when I'm cycling, and also when I'm flying the drone in and around Zimbabwe. And if you'd like to uh, skip some part of this video, please feel free to use the timestamps down below. So now we are just driving towards um, uh, the faculties. I think on our left we have the uh, College of Health Sciences, and on the right hand side is the Science Center. And now we're just passing the College of Health. So this is the roundabout that if you go right, you're gonna go to the Science uh, Center, so where you find physics, mathematics, computer science, and so forth. But for now, we're just gonna drive all the way uh, uh, to, to the Faculty of Engineering. So to our left, that is the Faculty of Engineering. I think at some point I'm going to turn left and then drive towards the uh, Mechanical Engineering Department. Well, whilst we're doing that, I'll also be um, telling you a little bit of University of Zimbabwe, the facts that I've managed to gather as well in preparation for this video. So, yeah, going to share with you. Just getting my notes right over here. And the roundabout, we're going to turn left and then have a look at the um, civil engineering department, electrical engineering department. Um. The motto for the University of Zimbabwe is knowledge, diligence, and integrity. The 140 professors, 183 senior lecturers, 450 lecturers, and about 100 teaching and research assistants. Well, now back to the video, we are driving toward the uh, fuck out of education, if I remember. But I, I was really impressed they have managed to maintain the university. I think it has turned greener uh, than the last time when I was there. It has actually turned way, way, way more greener. And they have built some new buildings. They have put more signposts. So it's much more easier when you're driving or when you're looking for direction. about 345 academic staff members with PhDs and currently as of the 2021 to 2022 academic year there are 17,800 undergraduate students and there are 2,700 postgraduate students and a little bit on the set side there are like 300 only 300 international students 
Um, so about the University of Zimbabwe, it is the oldest and the leading university in Zimbabwe. It opened in 1952 as the University College of Rhodesia, which is now Zimbabwe, and Nyasaland, which is now Malawi. Yeah, when it was opened, it was uh, initially affiliated with the University of London, and it was later renamed to the University of Rhodesia and adopted its present name upon Zimbabwe's independence in 1980. Oh, I'm talking too much. I have no idea where we are in the video now because I'm looking at the notes. <laughs> I think now on our right, it's just the main past the main library and on our left, that was the entrance from Mount Pleasant Road, if I remember correctly, right? And if we continue down that road, we'll go to other residential areas as well. But now we're going to turn right so that we can uh, so that we still explore a little bit more about the uh, educational side uh, the lecture theaters and so forth the university is around 171 buildings on the Mount Pleasant campus So now we are just driving towards the geology, urban planning, geoinformatics, and hmm, I, I think. looking at the wellness center that's where the swimming pool used to be and just when you're turning right now what is coming to a view that is the senior room now the university has nine facilities and one college and these faculties are agriculture arts commerce education, engineering, law, science, social studies, veterinary sciences, and the College of Health Sciences. And these offer a wide variety of degree programs from bachelor to master's, PhDs, uh, master of philosophy, doctor of philosophy, and so forth. So it's quite a lot of programs that you can uh, choose within uh, each faculty. And now we are just driving past the geology on my left, and the one on the right actually is I think there's a lecture halls and they are new. I've never been there. And on the left, that's the physics department that is showing there. theaters um, are newly built so the universities are accredited through the National Council for Higher Education under the Ministry of Higher and Teacher Education English is the main language that is new and it is the Zimbabwe Space Agency and other 
building that um, staff as well. Once a very successful university, UZ has been facing challenges since 2008. And now the university, as you can see, is trying to rebound, you know, and there, there are quite a lot of uh, work being done on the university. I think now they are working more on the inside to replace the equipment, the chairs, the desk and everything. I think the outside, they have done a pretty good job. Yeah, the university also in the past years uh, faced criticism for awarding fraudulent degrees. of November 2017 um, the UZ students they boycotted writing exams because they wanted the former first lady um, PhD to be to be revoked So the university prayer it says eternal and ever blessed god we offer thee our worship and our praise we worship thee that thou art the lord and giver of life the creator and sustainer of man we praise thee for that in every generation thou hast called men and women to high and noble enterprise and calling them thou hast endowed them with the grace and strength necessary for the task Look on us, we pray thee, who are committed here to a mighty enterprise and grant us the assurance of the guidance of thy Holy Spirit, giving us wisdom and courage and tenacity that we falter not in our design. Amen.
now we are just driving towards the uh, residential areas so uh, on the main campus there are five residences for women and these are Swinton Hall complex one complex four and complex five and Kari Sanders I hope I pronounced that name correctly and there are four residences for men which are the Manfred Hodgson Hall I hopefully I pronounced that correctly there is complex 2 complex 3 and Manfred Hodgson annex which is formerly known as the new hall uh, for the medical students there is also a medical residence at the medical school campus and the Mount Pleasant Royal residence in the avenues uh, in the central Harare uh, now we're just driving towards the um, CBZ CBZ is on our left and there is the on our right is the chapel and the students are just chilling around this time of the uh, of the day enjoying this this drive and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider doing so it really helps with the algorithm and it also motivates me to you know continue giving you content like this and if there is anything that you like to see in my videos or for me to improve or add or remove just please let me know in the comment section down below so now we're still just driving around the rest and so I think the rest of this uh, of this video is going to be um, about the residential areas. So now we are driving past. I have no idea. If you know exactly at this moment, just type it in the comment section. So at some point I'm going to uh, park the car and actually in my next video I will um, I will be taking a walk uh, through the main library, some faculties and then talking to students about life at the university and also get to visit the sports center and see some guys playing football, basketball, tennis. The university also has a farm that lies approximately 8 kilometers from the campus along the Mazowe Road and it is around 1700 hectares in area. I still like the vibe, the guy on the left is just dancing and enjoying life after a hard day's work.
and now we are driving towards the Swinton. I only know Swinton, probably, I'm not sure if that's the most popular, but I, I have heard the word Swinton, Swinton a lot when I was at the university, even though the residence was closed. And this moment I was going towards the uh, main library so that I could park the car and then start taking a walk. So if you haven't subscribed, please make sure to subscribe so that you get uh, notified and also um, uh, activate that notification bell. So at this moment, I uh, parked the car and then took a walk. And after that, got back in the car and then started driving towards Belgravia. But now the university has this policy that when you're leaving the campus, they will search, they will ask you if you have a tinted car uh, tinted windows they will ask you to lower them down they, they will take a look into the car and they will also ask you to open your boot stopped me asked me to open the boot and then everything was okay and then off we go well thanks for watching and uh, that is all about the university of zimbabwe driving <music>